Hello and welcome everybody. It's KB here. So today I want to talk about some Windows 11 24H2 stuff because there are many things happening in version 24H2 and I was actually disconnected from the internet for almost a week. Some of you guys may know about the medical condition of my wife. So we had to travel really far away from our hometown to see the doctor. I was actually planning to make a video addressing the situation. But my inner self was like, no, you're not allowed to complain or express yourself. My inner self was saying, be a man. So I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's been actually four to five days. Uh, I'm back in my hometown, but I couldn't make the videos because I couldn't focus and there are many things happening. But since I'm making this video right now, that means uh, it's getting better. I didn't even make a April Fool video because that was the day we traveled to the doctor. There was one video I scheduled for April 2. Now let's talk about the real thing. Windows 11 24 H2. If you have one of these apps installed in your system, you won't get Windows 11 24 H2 update. These includes some really popular softwares and drivers. Like for example, this Intel audio driver and uh, iCloud and Radeon software for AMD. Uh, CPUs to do settings and all that. That's one thing. Another thing, you won't be able to customize Windows 11 anymore. Like for example, you won't be able to use customization apps. Like for example, this start all back uh, software, really popular software to replace the Windows start menu. So there is this tweet from the Enderman he tried upgrading to Windows 11 24H2 and got this error saying this app can't run because it causes security and performance issues. So this isn't the full list of like apps that will cause the Windows 11 24H2 upgrade prevention. And here is another Windows customizer called Secure X Theme Patcher. Yeah you won't be able to use this in Windows 11 24H2. Plus, if you have this thing installed in current version of Windows 11, you won't get Windows 11 24H2 update. Because according to them, these apps or drivers will cause security or performance issue. And there is this really important line actually. A new version may be available. Check with your software provider for an updated version that runs on this version of Windows. So from this, what we can understand is that most of the old Windows apps won't work on Windows 11 24H2. And this is actually not good because there are some programs uh, which aren't updated for a decade and people still using them. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually not good in any way. I actually have a good example for you guys. Okay, there is this really popular software called NetSpeed Monitor. This software actually doesn't work in Windows 11, any version of Windows 11, but it works on Windows 10. Yeah, perfectly. Even if you try to run this with compatibility settings, like change the compatibility setting to Windows 10, 8, 7, it won't run, it won't work. But it can actually work if the software developer updates the software to make it compatible with Windows 11. So this is what's going to happen with the most of the old uh, Windows programs. Yeah, they simply won't work in Windows 11 24H2. Plus, some of these programs will prevent you to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2. Yeah, this is not looking good in any way, actually. Now, let's talk about some spicy good news. Windows 11 LTSC is coming and it is based on windows 11 24 h2 which is a good thing and it actually got leaked you can get the leaked iso file from the archive org if you want to test this right now in vm or whatever you're trying to do and yes again this is based on windows 11 24 h2 this is the build 26100 and this is the first ltsc version of windows 11 and windows 11 24h2 rtm builds are also going to release really really soon uh, this is april so within this month we will have the windows 11 24h2 rtm builds rtm builds is for manufacturing rtm simply stands for actually a release to manufacturing so the manufacturers can release their new products uh, like PCs, laptops with Windows 11 24H2. But there is one catch. 
it won't have all the Windows 11 24H2 features like all the AI features and everything. Those features will be available in late 2024, like in September or October or even in November. So I am actually thinking about upgrading to Windows 11 24H2 as soon as the RTM builds comes out. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.